Uh, my name is Cameron Mason, riding for Trinity Racing, and I'm 21 years old. Um, I think that the injury I had at the start of last year plays a part. Um, at first, obviously, it was a big negative because of the things I missed out on and the time off the bike. But I think in the grand scheme of things, it's helped me to kind of realise my weaknesses, also my strengths. And I've come back, it's cliche, but I've come back stronger. And I think everyone sees that, so uh, I think I can be pretty proud of that um, because it's quite a big job, really, to, to come back from something like that uh, stronger than when you were before. So, yeah, I think that's part of it. And then just time, you know, like I've raced in Belgium for the last year, three, four years. and. It's just a matter of time when things come together physically and mentally and all those things and I think at the moment this is my, my time. It's the biggest result of my career, yeah, bar none. I think personally though I've had better races I think, like there was the race in uh, Old Riser where I finished uh, ninth in the, uh, in the elites. So I came from yeah, like 60th all the way to 9th in an elite field at World Cup in Belgium. And I think that as a performance was better, <laughs> but a win's a win. And a win in Belgium and at a World Cup is it's the biggest that I yeah. could hope for. So. Yeah. It was nice actually, yeah, a month ago now I think I was racing, I did two races in the UK and uh, it was, it's a very different atmosphere. Um, I'm quite well drilled in my kind of routine in, in Belgium, so it's a little bit different, but it's nice. It's a good change. Um, gave me some good feelings that I then also went back to Belgium and, and did good things again, so it worked. I think from the pandemic side in Belgium, it's been, I think we've been pretty lucky. I think last year it was a shame because I missed out on a lot of years with three opportunities. Uh, but I'd ended up breaking my collarbone anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, and this year, it's not been too bad. Yeah, t obviously 2020, the su summer of 2020 was the worst in terms of uh, in terms of just how many things got cancelled. But I was really kind of proud of how I how I did deal with that year, and it, I'm still kind of coming off the base of the, of, of that 2020 summer. Uh, I feel the pressure. I'd much rather be an underdog. Uh, I think a lot of my kind of results have come from an underdog position. So, but I'm, I, I think I need to learn how to go from the front, and that's what I've been working on in the last few weeks. Obviously, in the last few months, I, now I'm at the front of these kind of U23 races. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, it is a different feeling. But at the end of the day, it's still a bike race. It's still one hour of, of hard work. So that shouldn't really change things. So the plan is to head home after this, uh, do a week and a half, two weeks at home, and then from that, uh, go back to Belgium, do two more races, and then directly to America. So that's kind of my, uh, yeah, my kind of plan. Uh, there was chances to do more racing, but I think I want to do go really well at Worlds. Um, that's I want to be in the best shape possible. Got, I think I've got something to prove in both road and mountain bike. Uh, I missed out on a lot of opportunities last year, but this yeah, 2021 because of my uh, my injury. So I've got a lot to prove in the mountain bike and the road, and I've got a calendar that I think will be able to, to show that. So I am already kind of planning and getting ready for that.